Hi friends, welcome back to chapter five, modality number three. This is the third tool to put in your toolbox. This is Lectio Divina. Lectio Divina means sacred reading, often of scripture. In fact, we've included daily scripture exercises for you in each of the days of meditation in one breath at a time. But one of the tips and tricks that I've learned since I started using Lectio Divina is actually to use something called 101 Blessings. So this is just a little gift box of scripture. And actually my cousin Brittany sent me these. She loves to send me these precious little gifts that she finds because she knows that I do a lot of Lectio. So what these are, this is actually kind of cool because it's a deck of cards, literally, right? And you just pull, you know, one off the top of the deck and read that scripture for the day. And that could be your Lectio scripture. Like this one is, your love, Lord, reaches to the heavens, your faithfulness to the skies. Psalm 36, verse 5. So I will often pull a card out of this box for my Lectio Divina that day. And then when I'm finished with the day, I put it at the back. And then I go through many scriptures and a course of at least the 40 day curriculum and beyond. Sometimes I'll pick from the middle, front, back, doesn't matter. So this is just one more way of getting a few more verses to pick from when you are doing your Lectio. Again, you could find this um, wherever you shop, maybe in your Christian bookstore or online. So I like to incorporate very short pieces of scripture in my Lectio Divina. I find that the cards work really well for that, as well as the scripture passages that we've included in One Breath at a Time for you. The shorter, the better, especially if you're reading it yourself, because one of the challenges to Lectio Divina is you don't want your, uh, what we call exegetical half of your brain, the brain that's going to do the analysis or the exegesis, the extraction of the scripture, you don't want that brain turned on. You don't want the critical thinking part of the brain. You want the spiritual mystical part of the brain working, which means that the shorter the scripture, the better. And so I like to work with Psalms work very well. Scripture that might be familiar to me, that I might know it well enough that it's memorized so that I can really approach the piece of scripture with a beginner's mind. Again, we're not exegeting scripture for an analysis or critical thinking purposes. We are listening for words that shimmer from a mystical point of view because the whole point of this meditation tool and all the others is listening for God's voice in our being still and our listening and our meditating. I hope that helps. Thanks so much for joining us.